Hey, it's uh, been a while, hasn't it? It's Brasinga Rise here. You guys remember me? I hope so. I wanted to thank you all for sticking with me through 2021. This year has been an emotional roller coaster of highs and lows that I never even thought could come true in a single year. So I wanted to do this video to sort of recap 2021, talk about my reasons for my absence, and just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for being here and sticking with me. Because I know I can't be easy to deal with sometimes. But anyway, at the start of 2021, I started with Walsh, which is my mental health team. They are an amazing organization here in Waitakere, or West Auckland, who basically help out with people with chronic illnesses, mental illness, disabilities, you name it, they help you. And it has been a journey and a half to get to where I am. Getting into Walsh was spectacular and fantastic because not only did they understand me as my symptoms, but they understood me as a person, as well as helped me start questioning a few things about my past and about other things that might be going on in the background which have added to my complex post-traumatic stress disorder. I did a lot of amazing things with them, including swapping um, support workers because sadly my original Joe went on to do amazing, wonderful things and now I have the wonderful asthma. And they helped me set goals. For the first time in my life I actually had a goal and I could go and get it. Unfortunately this meant having to put a lot of things on hold and I couldn't spend money on games for this goal. I couldn't dedicate all my time to YouTube for this goal. What I had to do was sacrifice YouTube at the beginning of the year to make a start on this goal. And if you guys have seen my first countdown to Christmas or um, Brasinga Rice Christmas, you'll know that that goal was not only achieved, it was smashed. Because my goal was to get my learner's license. And then... <laughs> My goal was to get a car. And did I think in a million years that at 26 years old I'd have my dream car? Absolutely bloody not. I never thought I'd have a Honda Fit Hybrid. A 2011, a rare beast that I called Cicera after one of my most favourite book series as a child that inspired me to be the writer I am today. To kind of be the person I am today. That all happened because of Walsh, so I cannot thank them enough for that. And also your guys' amazing support too. You know, sticking with me, even though I was kind of hiding in the shadows. <laughs> My second thing for staying away was because of lockdown, pure and simple. When I started doing those vlogs, I thought that we were only going to be in lockdown a couple of days. Little did I know it was going to drag on for three plus months. And to tell you the truth, I went nuts. Because here was this goal, have learners, now get car, cannot get to see horse. So all these wonderful plans that I had to include on YouTube and to start planning for the future with my art and everything went out the window. And to my increasing embarrassment, I got low. I got very low. I didn't really think we were ever going to get out of lockdown. I didn't think I was ever going to be able to get my car. But all that changed when I happened to look online and noticed that car yards were open. So not only was that a chance to be able to see my father when we went down into another lockdown level, I could organise us going to car yards and going to check out cars, which we'd already been doing in the past before lockdown, but it was a lot more real. And it only took me a couple of weeks to find Safira. And you guys know that I am the most indecisive child and brat known to, you know, planet Earth at this moment in time. I was humming and hiring and panicking and rocking back and forth from my bed like I am now going, Oh God, if I do this, you know, that's two years I'll be paying off a car. That's two years I will be taking a certain amount out of the money I get from my base, which unfortunately is ones. And so, again, sacrifices had to be made. And of course those sacrifices were to focus 110% on art and just pump it out. And I'm very proud I did because I managed to earn 
quite a bit of money <laughs> towards my car from all the amazing people who love my artwork. Yay. And being able to also make it through the day knowing that I had clients and feeling very, very fortunate because I had mates who couldn't go to work. I had mates who were struggling to make ends meet and having to end up on wins like me. And it was very, very sad because I realized how lucky I was to have a talent like artwork and how lucky I was too to have the chance to do YouTube and to do everything that makes me incredibly passionate as a human being. <laughs> so what I also mean by stuff going on behind the scenes with mental health is I went out to a horse show with a friend, and this happened a bit earlier in the year, before lockdown of course, no surprises, and it was my first horse show and I got to work with their amazing horse Magic, who isn't the easiest horse in the world to work with being a warm blood, but he was just perfect for a first show because he didn't make it easy on me. And I will be forever grateful for that because it did remind me that even though I think less of myself as a person, as an equestrian, I'm one hell of a force to be reckoned with when I've got that determination. And I think I proved that with my car too. And my face. Have you guys noticed how much my face has cleared up? Sorry, tangenting. This might come as no surprise to people. But it is suspected that Brasinga Eyes was born with high-functioning autism. And also has undiagnosed ADHD. And for the moment... Those are all up in the air. We don't know for sure if I do or don't, and it's a long pain in the butt process to get fully diagnosed, but knowing is half the battle. And I think you guys have seen me grow a lot coming to terms with my mental illness and coming to terms with the fact that, yes, my brain is very different from everybody else, but that's okay because that is what makes me unique. And that is what got me through 2021. And can I just say, I am so proud of all of you for sticking with me and I am proud of you for making it through another year of this absolute horrible pandemic and doing your best because sometimes all we can do is get out of bed and I mean that is enough and finally the world is recognizing that getting out of bed can be a massive win if you don't have the spoons to be able to do anything else. Celebrate it! Because you got out of bed. That's huge. Yeah, you got out of bed. <laughs> and that, I think, has been the greatest journey I've gone through in 2021. Is knowing that when I have those bad days. When I are to spoons really badly. I am allowed. And it is okay for me to be able to take a step back and breathe and recollect and just have a day where I rebuild my spoons again. Even if I do miss you guys and I hate that I couldn't edit and I just I just got too stressed out. Well that's where 2022 comes in. Because 2022 is going to be the year that YouTube doesn't take a back seat anymore. For those of you who don't know, I am on TikTok and I am considering reopening my Ko-Fi. And Ko-Fi basically is a little art thing where you guys can donate the price of a cup of coffee. Here in New Zealand, a mocha is $5 on average. So if people donated $5, I'd be able to buy a whole lot of games. Oh, and I got my controller too. So, I mean, I want to show you, but I'm literally using it to put my phone up. So that is huge as well. But 2022 is going to be the year of YouTube and the year of art growth. I will post some art stuff here on the channel. Because I will be doing a challenge of going through a book my Nana bought me from the library. It's a very old book from the 1980s. But it has some absolutely incredible references. Drawing references for certain animals. And I want to get better. I had a massive glow up in my art this year. I want to do it again and I want to do it better. And I also want to save for an iPad so I can use Procreate to start making prints and gain a passive income. But you'll also be happy to know that I will be planning 90 days in advance my YouTube channel. This is something that a lovely person on Facebook has suggested I do and I am going to do it even though 
oh, I'm going to procrastinate because that's just unfortunately my nature and I get panicky when things get hard. But I know if I plan ahead, because look at what I achieved this year with just a single goal, that I can do it again. Not to mention, in Feb, I should have my restricted, which could even mean being able to do some more horsey things. And maybe posting some horsey stuff on the vlogs, if I so decided. I don't know if I'm going to keep Eric on here or not. It's just a matter of what I'd like to do with this channel. But the main focus is going to be gaming. And if you guys would like to donate games, please know I already have Sea of Thieves, um, Walking Simulator, which looks hilarious and I cannot wait to play. But the main one that I really would like to be able to get is Ark. One, I'm an absolute dinosaur fanatic, and two, I have many friends who play it. But there are many more games I cannot wait to share with you guys. And it all counts on that finance of the art coming through. But it's going to be 90 days planned in advance, my YouTube channel. And my upload days will be Monday and Wednesday. These will be scheduled releases, so thankfully, I hopefully will be one week ahead every time. And I will edit on Sunday or Saturday to make sure that the videos are scheduled and ready to go for the next week. This should hopefully take the pressure off me instead of panicking at the last minute. Oh, I gotta get uploaded on the day! Which is what I have been doing. And frees me up to be able to do artwork. But also possibly on Friday having a video of the artwork progress of the week. We will just have to see how we go. I am only setting myself a goal of two videos a week for now. And I do hope we can make it to 500 subs next year. It would be freaking incredible to make it to 1,000, but I know I'm not the best candidate for that because, <laughs> I mean, I live off a benefit, you know? And I have expenses in life, and I don't have a job. Well, art's a job, but not a big job, you know? So it's not like I can go and buy a flaming console and play the latest games, even though all I want to do is play Spider-Man. Wanna play Spider-Man? Yeah. Especially because No Way Home came out. Oh, I need to do a review on that, but maybe that'll be another channel in the next few years. But this is it, guys. You know, I'm 26 years old now. I've had a massive glow up in my confidence and my health and everything I am doing and my determination to make the dream of my life a reality. And it's this simple. Car. Rental dash house. Freedom. Those three. That's it. And I already have one of those goals. So, thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for sticking with me for three years and seeing me grow as a person. I would not be the person I am now without YouTube. No way, no how. And I know that deep down in my heart because I was a terrified girl who didn't even want to step out my front door. And now I'm sitting here with a lovely bottle of beer over on my bed chilling out, getting ready to start probably my best year of life yet because I am this close to freedom. I am this close to independence. I am this close to taking control of my life and being able to do the things I only dared to dream about three or four years ago. That's because of you. Because I had a reason to get up in the morning because I had a reason to go and make videos. And I found that again. And I'm gonna keep going. And I'm gonna keep going with my artwork. And hopefully I'll be able to announce if I'm at any markets maybe on a Friday because it'll be a Saturday market so I'd be able to let you guys know a week in advance. And if you guys wanted, I could vlog there. Especially if I had my iPad, I could maybe be drawing and stuff and then you guys could come up and see me. I'd also am considering doing Vista Print packages for clients, which again, passive income! Doing what I need to do to get myself to where I need to be. And making YouTube a priority. Because this is what started it all. This is what made Mistress Inferno the woman she is today. There is no way, no how, doubt about that. I am the fucking woman I am. Because I started YouTube at such a young age. And people go, oh, you weren't that young. I was a baby. <laughs> and now, I am beautiful woman. Well get in there and feeling a lot better about myself and my health and my goals to be a mental health advocate to be a bitless advocate for horses so much stuff i want to do with my life and it's just starting now it's all because of you so i hope you all stick around for 2022 know that i am also here for you guys 110 percent this year has been 
amazingly kind to me, but I know it hasn't been kind to all of you. So even if all you did today was get out of bed and have a shower, brush your teeth, that's enough. That's all you need to do. Because those little habits, those little moments are going to make you. And you'd be surprised how much. But I think I have babbled on enough. 1526, Jesus! Hey, I never lost my ability to talk in front of a camera, did I? All right. Thank you guys for this. Thank you for my independence. Thank you for my freedom. Thank you for giving me my strength. So let's raise a glass to freedom, in the words of Hamilton. And I'll see you guys the 17th of January, 2022. Kaki Tiano, guys!